Are they safe to eat? You will, of course, detect from this title that I'm not a politician. <laughs> Nor should I be. <laughs> All right. Fish, are they safe to eat? Um, you will perhaps notice that in a recent copy of the Review and Herald, fish were countenanced as a food, uh, you know, for 2008, yes. And so we proposed to answer Dr. Handyside and company um, down to a, um, the electron erosion of DNA. Next. A giant gold mine. Yes. Now, the cheapest way, the greediest way to get lots of gold from a big mountain that has low gold per ton is using mercury. And do you see those mercury residues? They collect in water. Uh, this can be a very serious thing. This is a recognized massive problem in Brazil. Also, even in California. So that a Canadian gold mining company can move into an area and move thousands of tons of dirt, scrape the gold from the mountain, and leave the mercury. Then as rain comes down, this mercury goes downhill to water, to the aquifer, rivers, ocean. Okay, next. Microbes take this mercury and uh, add one or more methyl groups to it, making a very poisonous chemical called methylmercury. Minimata. This is an actual picture of the bay in Japan where the uh, greedy companies put mercury waste in the water for years. And they kept wondering why people were dying. Yes. And why children were born um, dramatically handicapped, cerebral palsy, dementia, everything, a few blind, a few deaf, every, everything imaginable. Now, this, this is an actual photograph of a Japanese person consoling somebody dying with this mercury poisoning. Nothing phony about it. Now, this is Japan. Now, I'll admit, I learned from Vaughn that in Japan they had a Black Friday. And I do mean black. You know, they had a big collapse in Japan today. Yes. All right. This is a different kind of collapse. This is mercury poisoning. Now, here's some Japanese with dead relatives. There were many of them, several hundred. And as the rich companies who made making the money around Minimata, as they tried to hide, camouflage, diffuse the data, <coughs> people kept dying. See? And you need to know this went on for years. A grand tussle between whitewash and toxicology. Okay. Look at there. Fish. Now, here's the way mercury works. After the microbes methylate it, then you have bioamplification in which the zooplankton are eating up very tiny organisms. And then little fish eat them, medium fish eat the little ones, and then big fish eat the medium ones. And here's the way it works with mercury poisoning. The bigger the fish, and the older the fish, the more the mercury. So do not, when you catch a big swordfish, 
bring it home and put it in the den, not in the dining room. <laughs> the, on the wall. Yeah, on the wall. On the wall. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Now, mercury is used in paints, in diuretics. That's a little old, but it certainly was used. And I remember in the White Memorial Hospital, there was an esteemed internist. And after a patient died with mercury hydrogen, he said, this news should not get out because mercurhydrin is such a good diuretic. Yeah. And you need to know that for hundreds of years, the medical fraternity used mercury to try to cure syphilis, see? And they would rub the mercury in, you see? And which killed the most is currently controversial, <laughs> whether it was the syphilis or the mercury. Curiously, look, you know this is after dinner. Uh, a cognitive meal should not be all protein. All right. Did you notice in the New York Times this week that the Russians put mercury in the car of a journalist that they wanted to kill? Did you notice that? See, they sprinkle it in the car, and then the vapors come up, and then the, the mind, the brain of the victim goes uh, to limbo, see? So be a little careful. Be a little careful. You need to be either circled with friends or <laughs> you want to be careful about mercury. Uh, mercury vapor is very dangerous business, yes. So the Russians this time did not use thorium. They used mercury. Yes, to eliminate an unfavorable journalist to the current steamroller in Russia. All right. So, uh, batteries, fluorescent lights, neon lights, yes, skin creams, antifungal medicines, some older vaccines. Uh, thermometers, etc., makes real, real trouble. Lots of trouble uh, all over the world. Okay, warning. You ever seen a sign like this by the river or the lake? Warning. Nearly all fish and seafood contain some amount of mercury and related compounds. Chemicals known in the state of California to cause cancer, birth defects, or other reproductive harm. Certain f fish contain higher levels than others. I presume that when you catch a fish, you're supposed to smell it. If it smells like mercury, then do not eat it. If it smells suspicious, you see, that's different, which of course is utter nonsense. Swordfish, shark, king mackerel, tile fish. They should all lim limit their consumption of other fish, including tuna, etc. All right. 